upon us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. We are still in our, can I call it a teaching series or a prayer follow-up of our possessing exemption mentality in the midst of chaos. Please be reminded that uh, Sunday we come here in the morning and in the evening by four Sunday, and uh, we start our normal series for I shall see the fulfillment of prophecy in the year of arise and shine. So this morning I'll be taking us uh, two days ago. I talk about uh, prayer, the pathway or, or uh, highway to exemption. And yesterday we talk about uh, if you are here, if you are not here. Yeah, we talk about how meditation help us of what help us out to be exempted. And uh, we talk about peace. Amen. We talk about prayer today. I will be taking us through a part and I titled uh, books The Hidden Secret to Exemption. Books The Hidden Secret to Exemption. If we start from the Malachi chapter chapter 3 verse 16. Ready to tell you during prayer, but I want us to start from there. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mark chapter 3, verse 16. He said, Then those who fear the Lord spoke to one another, and the Lord gave attention and heard. How? And a book of remembrance. Books are the hidden virtue. Or eating, eating, eating things where history for greatness are stored. Without books, <laughs> your life will not be able to be behold. You nobody will be able to look at you. Everything that you are yet to have are things that you are yet to read. Whatsoever that you are yet to have in life. Are the things that you are yet either to read or to read to believe. Because sometimes when God wants to speak to you, He speaks to you from His Word. And there are some anointed book that are extracted from the Word. According to John chapter 21, verse 25, it says there are some things that were done by Jesus that were to be written in the book that no book will contain on there. So where are those things written? So men of God are sat in the presence of God, and God has been able to dictate some things to them. As a matter of fact, the most Moses that wrote the first the first book of uh, the of, of old, or the Hebrew book, which is called we call Old Testament, you know, it wasn't there when all these things started. God had to dictate those things to him. So there are things, there are things, there are things, and that's why Second Timothy is that every scripture are the, what the, are the inspiration of God. It's God that inspire men and women of God. If there's anyone anyone that woman that read it. A powerful book, or let me say, let me call it the book that's made it to the canon. If any of them are written by, by, by a man or a woman, a product of what God inspired. So every book of the or the, the book, the law, or the Bible, or any in or any uh, spirit filled book are powered by the spirit of God. So it's not men. I'm saying all that to say books. Are one of the hidden secrets for your exemption. The book that you are here to read is why your life is what it is. One day, I read an article written by Mama, and she said, "You cannot, you cannot win an argument and be at peace at the same time." This one, you know, but if people thought books are just a Another thing that is published. There are so many articles that you, it's just one paragraph that you stumble on that will change your life. One day, Bishop was in the US and he saw this phrase, the United States or uh, something, that this is a, a home of the free because of the brave. 
Amen. What that means now, every, you can never see freedom if you are not brave. And that changes his life. What are we talking about? Little things like that. If these things are not written by the forefather of the United States, you might not have had peace of mind. Amen. Let's start from this. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. What is it in the book? What happened to books? If books are sweet when they get to the right place. What is the right place? Your heart. What is the right place? Your belly. Books are sweet. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. Moreover, Moreover, he said to me, Yes, son of man, eat what you find. We eat what? Did you see that? So, thing. you have to find, you know, God I will tell you, books are supposed to be found. When I was in, the, uh, when I was in uh, training school in the Navy, after I left uh, boot camp, and I worked for my A school, uh, one thing, one thing my instructor told us is that when, there's a lot, they, they call them instruction, and uh, I, said, I said, why do we have so many instructions? How do you want people to comprehend this kind of volume of books? To be able to do their job. He said, it is not about the volume of book. It's that you know what you are looking for and you know where to get. He said, you are not, you are not expected to memorize it. You are expected to know what you are looking for and know where to get it and you'll find it. So when they how to process a travel, how to deal with somebody that is transferring, how to deal with somebody that is separating, what happens if you are busted? You know, things like that. You have to know what the instructions say. So, let's go back to that Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. He said, Moreover, he said to me, Son of man, eat that way that you find that. Mm. Eat it. Eat it. And go speak unto the other. You see, if you don't find and eat, you cannot speak. Those who speak boldly have found something and they don't just find it, they consume it. Those who speak, that's why Bishop said, he said, why some people can't speak the way we speak is because they've not found what we found. It is in finding that generates speaking and eh, no finding <laughs> provoke eating. When you find it, you will believe it. Eating it, you believe it, you receive it, you speak it out, then you can speak boldly. And I think in Matthew chapter 10, verse 20, whatever I speak to you in the secret, go to the house stop and let me, I'm making known. Praise the Lord. So what am I talking about today? That books are supposed to be found, and when you find them, you hit them, when you hit them, you speak about them. In verse 2, he says, so I open my mouth, and it cost me, you see that? Because when your readiness comes, Holy Spirit will be in action. Readiness provokes Holy Spirit. God, I really want to do this thing. God, I don't want to do this thing again. No! Are you ready? Readiness is the bad place for the oppression of the Spirit. Holy Spirit will never com com uh, compress you. Or oppress you. Or oppress you. No! It will work on your readiness. Your, or, or call it your willingness. He said, you open me, he said, I open my mouth and it cost me to eat the scroll. In verse 3, he continued, he said, he said unto me, son of man, he said, cause the belly to eat. Did you see that? And fill the bower with the road uh, that I give thee. Then did I eat. Responsibility. It was in my mouth as only. Did you see that? <laughs> Frustration in life is a function of what you have not found. There are some things if you find, you will not talk again. Because I find in my Bible that, uh, you know, people, you can never get the best of what you don't know. I will say it again. You can't get the best of what you don't know. Naturally precede embracing. If you want the best of something, you nurture it. You know, somebody was talking to me on Facebook yes, message like the day. This is a person that I saw maybe 10 or 12 years ago. And the person was, I'm, 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 say, I'm not saying this because of anything. And the person was pesting me to like, you know, help him out with uh, some financial something. And I said, you've not even speak to me for 12 years. 
for 12 years. You never say what to me what is happening to you. And you just said, okay, there's a lockdown in Nigeria, so I need money to feed my family. I said, really? Didn't you have family in Nigeria? You never even asked what is happening to you. What, what is, you don't even know maybe I'm having. Let me tell you something. You can't get the best of what you have not nurtured. Relationship must be nurtured. Family must be nurtured. Children must be nurtured. God will give us understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Revelation chapter 10 verse 10. Revelation chapter 10 verse 10. He said, I took the little book out of, out of the angel's hand and I hit up. And I hit it up. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I hit it up. I hit it up after I took it. I hit it up. God will give us understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Revelation chapter 5. We all know the story when there was you know, weeping in heaven and because no one can open the book. Revelation chapter 5 from verse 1 to 5. He said, I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a book written inside and on the back a seal of with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaim with a loud voice. Who is worthy to open the book and to break the seal thereof? He said, No one in heaven and on earth and under in the air was able to open the book and to look. You see that? If you don't book, you can't look. Those who can read the book will look. And if you don't look, you cannot see. But when you go to verse, uh, I think it's verse 5. Verse 5. He said, one of the elders said to me, he said, weep not. Did you see that? Weeping continue when the book is not open. Weeping continue when the book is not open. So, what puts a stop to weeping in life is the book that is open in, to you. When the book is open to you, weeping will be put to stop. Do you want to stop weeping in any, anything? You know, I've come to understand in life that uh, wherever there is struggle, there is no wisdom. And wisdom is a function of knowledge. Knowledge is an is, you know, is, uh, uh, acquisition of, of, of information. Whatever you don't acquire as information, you don't have knowledge about it. And if you don't have knowledge about it, you cannot apply what you don't have. When you don't apply what you don't have, that means you lack wisdom. Wisdom simply means application of what? Of knowledge. God will give us understanding. John chapter 19 verse 22. Pilate responded. He said, what is written is written. Let me tell you something. Will you, it is not about what is happening. It is that you have not found what is written. When you find what is written, what is written will be altered by what is, that, what is happening. So listen to this. Every happening yield to what is written. Let's come down. So the story of Jesus in Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4. We start from verse 16, 17, and the three verses. The key here is 17 and 18, but let's start from 16. So he came to Nazareth. He came to Nazareth. Oh, yeah, and brought up. Yes. And as his custom was, yes. he went into the synagogue. So did I, yes, it's, it's, go ahead. On the Sabbath day. Uh -huh. And stood up to read. He stood up. Do you see that? He doesn't stay here to pray. If you have not read, you can't even pray well. Every good prayer that must be answered must be backed up by scripture. Continue reading, please. And you and it was handed the book. It was handed the book. The prophet Isaiah. Yes. And when he opened the book, when he opened, yes, he found the place. What did he find? Where it was written. Yes. The spirit of the Lord. It was is upon, it's upon me because he has anointed, anointed me. me. Amen. Amen. What you don't find, you can never be. Struggle, you know, until you know your, your, until you discover, you know, when you want to travel here, you put everything on GPS, right? Once you know the GPS, GPS will let you know how many minutes you need to get there. The easiest route to go to get there. Things that you can expect to see on the road. And the fastest route there, the longest route there. Why? So when you find the book, you find what is written. When you know what is written, you know what you're supposed to do. You know, if you go back to uh, 
Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Isaiah 34, verse 16. It says, Search from the book of the law and read. Search from the book of the law and read. The book are not just supposed to be found, they're supposed to be read. What you don't read, you can never be. Reading, so re reading is a capacity for you to acquire what is written of you. Jesus Christ, find what is written of him from book. You have to read it. Don't just find it. Don't just buy it. You have to what? You have to read it. You know, let's tell me, let me tell you something what's in, in one of the things that is in the book. I'm going to expand it more down the, down the line. You have to be read. It's not just found it. You have to be. You have to read it. Esther chapter 6 from verse 1. Esther chapter 6 from verse 1. The Bible said the king could not sleep. Go ahead. That night. Yes. The king could not sleep. Yes. So one was commanded yes. to bring the book. So did you see that? Books sometimes bring peace to life. The king could not sleep. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Of the records. Yes. Of the chronicles. Mm -hmm. And they were and they were read before. See, the amen. Sit down. <laughs> the king could not sleep and he called for book. So maybe why you don't have sleep when well, you have been having a sleepless night is because you have not read read the book. Book sometimes has a therapeutic capacity to be able to subdue. Every every nervous system that is going on in your life that you cannot handle. Books have the capacity to bring peace into your life. The book of the law. That's why Joshua was being commanded. They said, This book of the law shall not depart. There's a book on how to be a good wife. There's a book on how to be a good husband. There's a good on how to get the best of your life at any stage of life. There's a book on how to not die, how to dress. There's a book on how to speak in the public. There's a book on what not to speak in the public. There's a book on, you know, every, and we live in a world that you don't need to go out. You can even read it on your phone. So foolishness is not absence of information. It is your carelessness not to go for it. You are not stupid, not because of what is, avail what is not available. It's your, your irresponsibility to look for it. And you know what happened? If you are fool, you are fool for yourself. And if you are wise, you are wise for yourself. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 12. Frustration in life is not a function of what, is, what you don't have, but much more a capacity of what you will never assess. You can even buy an audiobook if you don't want to read it. They can read it to you. <laughs> Isn't that powerful? No, excuses, I've said it a long time ago, and I still come back to me again. Excuses are not part of the jargons in the school of success. There are, there are jargons of, of in, in finance, jargons in the politics, jargons in whatever you do. But in the school of success, excuses is not, not part of it. You know, this is why I don't read the book. This is why I know the book that you don't read at 13 will never what? Will never be useful to you at 30. The book that you don't read at 16 will never be useful to you at 60. The book that you don't read at 17 will never be, you know, most of the time, what, uh, you know, if the foundation is destroyed, what can the what? Righteous do. One of the things that help us in life, we, 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 talking about me, hey, <laughs> is the things that I've done in 2010. A strong foundation that helped me to come this far. God will give you understanding the mighty name of Jesus. This is what was said in Romans chapter 15, verse 4. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. Thank you, Jesus. He said, the things that were written, you know, I don't know who I was speaking to yesterday on the phone. Listen to this, what was said about, about, about books or things that were documented called books. He said, for what, whatever was written in earlier times, was written for our instruction and we all know a instruction is the highway to 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 high, to, to high flyer if you are not a person receive if you are not receiving instruction you can never fly because uh, 
In, uh, in university, we have professor. In uh, high school, you have teacher. In many of the, oh, what do I call it? In many teaching of uh, education, we have professor, we have teacher. But in av uh, aviation, we don't have anything called like that. We have instructor. Why? It is by instruction that you fly. He said, what is written? What is written? I written for our own instruction. So that through perseverance, Romans chapter 15 verse 4, through perseverance and the encouragement of the scripture, we might have hope. And I said it. The, the statement that I learned when I was in, back home in Nigeria, that when there is life, there is hope. It's a lie. Many people have life because they don't have hope, they kill themselves. But when there is hope, there is life. When there is hope, when you, de when you know that what you are doing, there is a future for you. When you know that what you are doing, you will be rewarded in it. When you know that what you are doing, have a future in it, then there is hope. When there is hope, then you can live your life. It's not like when there is life. Any life without hope will be, will, will be gone. But any, every life with hope will remain. God will give us understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Look at how Jesus Christ commanded John in Revelation chapter 1 verse 3. Revelation chapter 1 verse 3, the importance of book. He said, Blessed is he that readeth, and they hear the word of this prophecy, and keep those things which were written therein, for the time is at hand. Did you see that? The time we are in right now has happened before. When did you read the book of Matthew 24? When did you read the book of Revelation? Live in, live, you know, the, 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 the length or the best of your life are the function of your exposure. How you really matter is the function how you really read. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell us about five things about books. Book birth vision. It was when Jesus Christ read. In Luke chapter 4, verse 17 to 18, that's why you know that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. And what to do? He knew it. Books gives direction. How to go about life. Books unveils purpose. When you read enough books, you will know what you want to do with your life. That is why Bishop encouraged us to read biographies. But before he started winner, before God started winner through him, he said he read 39 biographies of ministers. He said most of them he has never sat down with them, but he consumed, he knows what to do, what not to do, what to do, when to do it, when to move. The power of testimony. How to be, how, you know, that's why there is no lady secretary with, with Papa. He will never, you never see him with, you know, he led so many things. God receive purpose through the study of the book, the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So number one, books birth what? Vision. Number two, book what? Gives direction. Number three, books unveil purpose. Number four, books guide to the truth. It guides you to the truth. Because everybody might tell you lie, but uh, the word of God, what? Sanctify them by the truth. The word is truth. Amen. John 17, 17. And number five, book cancels you. Book give cancel. Out of the multiple of cancel, there is safety. Because if you don't receive cancel, then safety is not guaranteed for you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So let me tell you something, like five things that you can get from the book. Five things that you can get from the book. One, books bet understanding of the moment. What we are experiencing right now is not just a quarantine season. It's not just a time of sitting at home. We are, something has been happening in the spirit. <laughs> it's not what I'll be telling you on, 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 on the life something. But when you study the Bible, you will know that this is something that's happening in the spirit. Number one. Daniel chapter 9, verse 1 to 2. Or just, just read verse 2. 
Books help you to understand the moment. You see, I, Daniel, understood by books. Things you can find in the book. Understandings in the book. I, Daniel, understood by what? By books. There are things that will never come to you, no matter who, 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 who is preaching or who is teaching you. But when you sit down, the understanding will just boom. Praise the Lord. Number one, understanding is in the book. Number two, liberation is in the book. Liberation from, from darkness. Or call it illumination is in the book. Light is in the book. That's why Jesus Christ responded to the devil when he was, when he was being tempted in Matthew chapter 4. In verse 4, verse 7, and verse 10, Jesus Christ responded to the devil, what? It is written. Where? In the book. Matthew chapter 4, verse 7, it is written. Matthew chapter 4, verse 7. Matthew, sorry, Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, it is written. Matthew chapter 4, verse 7, it is written. Matthew chapter 4, verse 10, it is written. It is written. It is written. Because what is written is stable. It is firm. It is confirmed. And it is established. You know, I've said it before, that what is written is what? Is written. What is written is what? Is settled. What is written is what? Is, uh, what's the third one again? It's, it's, it's finished. Why? John chapter 19, verse 22. He said, what I've written, I've written. Number two. What is written is said to forever, O oh Lord. Your word is said to in heaven. For what? Forever. Psalm 119, verse 89. And the third one. Whatever it is written is, is finished. Jesus Christ said, it is finished. Amen. So, books liberate people. It gives you life. It makes you to walk in illumination, not to not to walk in, in illumination, not to be in darkness again. Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, Matthew chapter 4, verse 7, Matthew chapter 4, verse 10. And when you move down again in Matthew chapter 19, verse 4, Matthew chapter 19, verse 4, and Luke chapter 3, chapter 6, verse 3, Luke chapter 6, verse 3, Matthew chapter 19, verse 4. He said, Haven't you read what? What was written? Where? In the book. So it is written. Haven't you read what? What was written must be read. And if you read it, then you are reading the book for your life. Because if you don't read it, you will break the rule. And when you break the rule, remember, he that breaks the head, serpent what? Serpent will bat. Ecclesiastes chapter 10. I think from verse 5 downward. Help me to look for it. Confirm it, please. Praise the Lord. Amen. So number one, you understand. You understand by what? By books. Number two, you live in light by book. Number three, information has been found. Eight. He would, would yeah, we fall into it. Yeah, and that breaks the head. Serpent. Serpent. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Let me read that. Praise the Lord. Amen. Number three, information has been spread via books. There are things that you will never see on YouTube. Mm. There are things that you will never hear in the church. There are things that no conversation we talk about it. But you know what happened? Most of things are being written down in the book. In Revelation chapter 1 verse 12. True information, true books, we spread information from generation to generation. So if you don't read, you miss. If you don't read, what? You miss. Revelation chapter 1 verse 12. What am I talking about? John chapter 21 verse 25. He said, what about the things that are written, that Jesus Christ did that are not written? So where are they? They are packed in some of what some men of God have discovered. They are packed in an anointed book. So when you read the uh, unlimited power of faith by Bishop Ibeko, you will understand life. All you need to have are your needs, man. You will know what to focus on is loving God, serving God. 
God will give us understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So number four, there is hope for the future in the book. When you read a notebook, you will find hope for yourself. Why? You will know how some people started, what they've gone through, and what they went through in life, and how they weathered the storm, and what their life is becoming right now. You want to start something big? Then go and look at how people started. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. It says, Search the book of the law and read. He said, None of it will fail. It means if, you have, if it has happened before, it will happen again. Whatever I say to you, I say to all, Mark chapter 13, verse 37. So there is nothing that just happened. Everything happened because something has happened. Life evolves. If history repeats itself, God will give us understanding. Mm -hmm. Number five, what is, in, what is in the book? Destiny decoration is in the book. When you, you know, what do you call it? Esther chapter 6, verse 1, that we read earlier. Mordecai has done many things. He has done some things for the king, but nothing happened. But assuming, see, the Bible said the king could not sleep. Why? And he called for the book of, of, of Chronicle to be, to what? To be read. No, assuming what, what if it is not documented? So there are things, there are many things that have been documented right now. All you need to do is to read it. When you read it, you, your life too shall be, you know, shall be decorated in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So what are we talking about? All this book, or let me run through these five things again. One inside book is what? Is understanding. There's understanding in the book. Inside book is what? Illumination. Or call it to be liberated. Or call it light. Inside book is what? Information. Information to go to the next generation. For you to know what has been done. What will be, what's going to happen in, in the mighty name of Jesus. Number four, there is hope in the book. And number five, there is destiny can be decorated through what you find from the book. So what are we talking about? First Timothy chapter 4 verse, verse uh, 15. First Timothy chapter 4. Yesterday I think I, I immediately put that scripture wrong. It's from verse 15. First Timothy chapter 4 verse 16. It says meditate upon this thing and give thyself wholly to them. Find a book and meditate on it. Give yourself wholly. Let the fool of you be lost in it. He said, after that, then your prophecy, what? We appear to all. If you find it, there is no how you will not be paid for it. That's what I'm saying. If you can find it, there is no how you will not be paid for it. So payment is awaiting what you find from the book. That's what I'm trying to say. Thank you, Jesus. Payment is what? Is awaiting you for anything that you can find from the book. When you find it, you, you come to pass. You know, what are we talking about? Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7. Solomon was writing, he said, Wisdom is a principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. From where? From the book. He said what? Get understanding. From the book. Verse, verse 13 of the same chapter 4. He said, Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Let her not go. For she is your life. Did you see that? What you find is your life. Let it not go. You know, I'm not going to say maybe I read a lot of books right now. But when I first started my life when I was 28, back, back, back then, <laughs> audio books, this book, that book. You know, when you talk, when you carry yourself, the way you relate, this, when you don't know how to respond to the situation of life, it means that something is not in you. So your response to life, your perspective to life, your dealing with life are a function of the things that you have ever read or that you have heard from people through books. Amen. Amen. God will give us understanding. What are we talking about? Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20 to 22. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20 to 22. Shalom was speaking, telling his children. He said, Does wisdom not cry without and utter a voice in the street? He says, He cried in the chief place of. Uh, of, of Conquers. As in the open of the opening of the gate, in the city, she uttered a word, saying, verse 22, How long, ye simple one, will you love simplicity? Did you see that? What is simplicity? Simplicity, simplicity is a limitation because of your emptiness. Simplicity is the revealing of your emptiness. 
You know nothing. <laughs> you know, when you talk for five minutes, I'm, I, 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 know, I know how deep you are. Lack understanding because you lack knowledge, and you lack knowledge because you don't read the book. He said, How long will you be simple? Simple, nothing is in you, you are just being light. Praise the Lord. I pray after this, God will give us understanding to do that thing that is right in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Somebody say, Book, read. Somebody say, Book. Read. He <laughs> said, How long will you be will you simple one? Will you love simplicity? And the scorners delight in what? In scorning and full eight knowledge. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22. Fools eight knowledge and they become scorn. After they become scorn, because they are product of simplicity. Nothing is added to other day. You know, in psychology, that's what we call tabla rasa. Tabla rasa, it means everybody is born blank and blink. So when Bishop can sit down and read up and read things, how great university started. And after he came back when he started coming to university, he said, hey, a new Harvard is birth. It's not talking based on Bible alone. It's talking about his discovery from books. Behave yourself. Amen. God will give us. Let me tell you something that I found in the Bible. Combo. What? The head is the Lord. And that is a function of Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. God said, why are you asking men for what belongs to me? He said, what John was writing, he said, what is it that you, receive, that you have that you have not received? So, God said, everything belongs to me. The earth is the Lord and the funeral girl of the world and all that dwells in it. The world and all that dwells in them. Proverbs 21 verse 1. He said, the act of the king is in God's hand. Like a river of water, he turned into whatever he wants. He wills. So everything belongs to God, including the king that is inside. And inside that king, God said, his heart is in my hand. I'll turn it to whatever he wills. Somebody said, what are you talking about? Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 4. He said, the soul of man and the soul of, uh, uh, of the son are mine. Every soul are mine. Ezekiel 18 verse 4. It does not end there. Job chapter 41 verse, verse 11. He said, everything under the earth. Everything under heaven and earth. Am I? So when you need something, ask God. That's what I found from the book. Amen. As I round up this morning, five ways. Five ways to get your exemption from the book. Five ways. Praise the Lord. Five ways to get your exemption from the book. One, don't judge read. Don't just read books, read the book. It's good to read books, but read the book. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. You shall meditate in Joshua 1 8 day and night. Then you may observe to do all that is written in it. Then it's not God. Then you know people thinks people thinks where you end. It you know Bishop said we are not surprised that we are where we are. We could have been surprised if we are not there. And he said something that you will never say. He said when he was a teaching pastor and I was prepared to be there in New York. He said that. Uh, We don't become big because only be, not just because of what God said. We become big because we discover what was written. Greatness is not God can say it and you may never see it. If you have never found it, what is being said will never stick. We never come to life. Mm. He said, we don't just become, you know, there's something that we don't say. I was in New York that day when he came. He said, we don't just become big because God said so. No, you become big because you discover it so. You discover it and you launch yourself. To, hey, God said it. I found it. That's, that settles it. Because let me tell you something. When God says something, it's like putting something on the internet. 
one million people can accept it at the same time. But who gets it? The person that takes it and runs with it. He said, we don't just become big as a person or as a ministry or as an institution. He said, we become, become big because we... You know, there was a time that the, that the cell of winner was crawling. Bishop went to go and get a, 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 a cell growth book from uh, Yogi Show and he distributed it to most of like 1,000 pastors. He said, go and read it. And after they read it, they all come with a conclusion. And when they put those things in, in bad it, cell, gel, pam, jump. Let me tell you something. The result that you lack is function of book that you don't read. The result that you lack is a function of the book that you don't read. Don't just read the book. Don't just read books. Read the book. There are main things that you are looking for. Read the book. That you can't be looking for peace in marriage and be and be, and, 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 be, and be reading books about uh, healing. Which healing? What's the correlation? <laughs> Amen. John chapter seventeen and the first scripture is Joshua chapter one verse eight and uh, I'll put John seventeen seventeen. And 2 Timothy 2 15. Amen. Amen. Don't be confused about the book. There are so many things that you read in the Bible you will never comprehend. So the first thing is what? Don't read, don't just read books, read the book. Number two, don't be confused about the book. Rather, focus on the information that you are looking for. A pastor can take a prosper like a prosperity sentence in the book. That's why when people want to, people do that don't have understanding, they will be they will be you know they will be questioning the revelation of a man of God. No, the, the, God has so many perspectives that you cannot understand. For example, inside God there is feminine part of God, there is masculine part of God. Whatever you lack, like, that's where God shows up to you. God can appear to you as a woman with compassion and God can appear to you as a man with responsibility as a things to do as a woman want to cover and shield herself as a man want to cover and protect his generation so God can appear to you in any way so if you are not flexible you will say no, no this is not God no God is what you are looking for God will appear to you the way you are looking for him if you, are, if you are looking for God for money, God will appear to you for money. If you are looking for God for healing, God will appear to you for healing. So, like I said, don't just focus on what, don't be confused about the book. The book is so big. The book is so vast. The book is so huge. Don't be confused about the book if you want your exemption. Focus on the information you are looking for. I said that to say the Bible is not a confused word if you know what you are looking for. For example, every human that you see in life has the human side of it. So if you look at the human side of a woman, you will miss the best part of them. Every human has human side. If you focus on the human side of them, you will never get because God will never do something until there is a body. I think in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 5, he said a body has been made for you. Confirm it please. He said a body. So Jesus Christ came to this world because a body was made. What am I talking about? When God wants to get something done, he looks for a body. And inside that body can be anybody. So when you look at the body, you might miss the message. And when you miss the message, it's a 365 day journey. Therefore, when he came into the world, yes. he said, he said sacrifice and offering you yeah. do not desire. April 10, 5, right? Yes. Yes. But a body you are prepared for. Did you see that? Praise the Lord. Because God is a spirit. God is a spirit. That's why some people, if you don't acknowledge people, some people go to church, a hey, pastor is a man. Truly, pastor is a man. I've said it before. Pastor are men. Before they become what? Men of God. So if you see ordinary men in them. <laughs> Let me show you a scripture that I found a long time ago. Inside that scripture, I came about with this three values. You give God thanks. You give God glory. But you appreciate men. You what? You give God thanks. You give Jesus the glory. Or however you want to say you switch it. You might give God, you might give God the glory and give Jesus thanks. I want you to do it, but you appreciate men. Wherever there is no appreciation, there is depreciation. And any 
any honor, any anointing that you don't celebrate will never work for you. Many people are just talking, talking, talking wrongly about bishop. You know, you, how could somebody go so far and you that you are nowhere, you are bringing that person down? Ah! May rock of ages never crash on your head. Amen. I think it's Exodus chapter 14. The day that I found this, <laughs> the last verse. He said, when the people saw the great... Listen, I want you to, I don't know where you are watching from, but I want you to get this. If you can get this, light will come upon you. You will know that when you go to church, when the man of God preached, even when you don't understand, just walk home and say, God, what are you saying? Listen to this. Exodus chapter 14, verse 31. He said, when Israel saw, that the children of Israel, when Israel saw the great power which the Lord had used against Israel, Egyptians, the people what? Feared the Lord and they believed what? In the Lord and what? So, the, mo, people go to church and it's just, oh no, it's, it's just a pastor, it's just a man. I, truly, it's a man. I want to read, you shall believe in the Lord your God and it shall be established. But you believe in the prophet, in the, in the prophet, you what? You will prosper. I think the first Chronicle chapter 2, chapter 20, verse 22. Is it 2020 or 2022? Many people are so naive that they think pastor are their mate. The anointing you don't celebrate can never work for you. You know, eh, they are, you know I was telling people, they are, if you are if you are you are you are in their family, you should be fearful. Because a husband. Is even from a pastor. A husband is even from well, you know. There's no, I don't know the best way to say it. The best way, if you don't want to clash, is to be careful about dealing with men of God. Because God said, He said, He make His minister a flame of fire. <laughs> if their husband, they are still flame. If they are, their father, they are still flame. You go, haven't you read the judgment that came upon? Are the the the, the, the siblings of Moses when they look when it is not your capacity to talk down a man of God. Somebody say, Hey, won't you talk? Won't you talk? It's a man of God, yes, but it's not in your hand to judge him. If you don't, you will clash with it. It is not so oh, then you know everything. Psalm 104, verse 4. Make a minister a flame of fire to consume anything that comes to their path, to crash anything that comes. You know, when this happens to me sometimes, I will just laugh because if you know, <laughs> you know, many why believers suffer so much is believers lack understanding because of the grace we misuse it. Some people look at pastor and say it's just ordinary. ordinary. Yes, yeah, it's man. But when that anointing comes, you can't stand it. When the wife of David talked down on him, he said, why are you dancing like this? Because she, she saw the, the David as husband with her on the bed. She saw the David that kissed her during night, but she forgot to see the anointing in the David as a king. David could not dare kill Saul. Because they, you can't touch the anointing. Oh! Exodus chapter 14 verse 31. When you don't recognize it, you will be killed by it. You know, this is not just, you know, anything that is not Bible supported, don't believe it. All these are function of what we have discovered from the scripture. Life is about knowledge. Once you don't have it, you don't have it. God will give us understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So how can you get exemption from book number one? Don't read book. Don't just read books. Read what? The books. John 17, 17, 2 Timothy 2, 15. Number two. Don't just be confused about books. Rather, focus on what? The information you are looking for. Number three is that don't just hunt for information. Search for it. 
Have you there, haven't you read that somebody said, help me to look for something? He said, I can't find it. The person cannot find it because he looks for it. Because but when you search for it, what happened? You will find it. When you search for it with all your heart. You search with all your heart. We search with what? Help me to read it. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. This book of the law yes. shall not depart from your mouth, yes. but you shall meditate in it mm -hmm. day and night. Day and night. That you may observe Except to do all that is written in it. Did you see that? Yes. But then you make your way for spiral. Jeremiah 29, verse 13. Let's see what is there. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 13. <laughs> Jeremiah 29, verse. <laughs> so. What you cannot find is because of things that you've not searched for it. Jeremiah 29, 13, go. And you, when you seek me, you will seek me and find me. You'll find me. You search for Did you see that? Beyond finding is searching. Write it just like that. Beyond finding is what? Searching. It's searching. If, you know, there's some part in the Bible that speak on healing. If you cannot find healing in the Bible, and you will never, you, you, that means you've not searched for it. Don't just read books, read the book. <laughs> Don't be confused about the book. Focus on the information. If you cannot find the true information, what happened? Search for it. Jeremiah 29, verse 13, Isaiah 34, verse 16. It says, Search for the book of the law and read. It's not just find it, it's search for it. Beyond, like I said, beyond finding is what? A session. Number four. Don't search alone. Research. You know, I've had two masters and they will tell us to write a thesis. Write this. Search. The, what I've come to understand in life is that as an undergrad, you are exposed to information. As a grad, you started your search. As a PhD, you discover something. <laughs> so, undergrad is exposed to information. Grad is, is searching for information. As a PhD, the top level of, 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 of master's program is to, they call it research. It's not just search. So what are you researching about? Amen. <laughs> Proverbs chapter 24, verse 14. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 14. Thank you, Jesus. Proverbs 24, verse 14. Libra Keto Shatanda. Knowledge of wisdom be to your soul. Yes. If you have found it, if you have found it, prospect. So for and you to find it, you are searching it. If you cannot find it, you research it until you research it. You can you can't find it. Research comes with a deliberate action to ensure that you look for what you are looking for. You don't retreat. You don't go back. You keep at it. How can you get exemption from books? Number one is what. Don't just read books, read the book. Number two, don't be confused about the book. Focus on the information. Number three, don't hunt, or don't only hunt for information, search for it. Number four, don't search alone, research. Number five, don't sell what you have discovered. Don't sell it. Don't sell it. You know, I have found myself in a place that people offer me to drink. They offer me to drink, to smoke in a gathering. That is a function I have to be there. If I'm not there, something might happen to me. But I stand my ground. I stood my ground. I said, it's not going to happen. Can you imagine people are smoking right in front of me, drinking, seriously? And I said, no, what happened? Give me water. <laughs> you remember? Luke, uh, sorry, uh, Proverbs chapter 1. Look for the scripture, the verse. My son, a sinner consent you. Follow them not. There are things that you, you eat with, they will become the driver of your destiny. Did you find it? Proverbs 1 10. Pro, read it. Son, if sinners entice you, yes. do not consent. Do not consent. 
Go ahead. They say, come with us. Yes. Let us lie in ways to show yes. the Lord. Mm -hmm. Let us love secretly in the innocence yes. without cause. Yes. Let us swallow them in life like Shiloh yes. and whole. Yes. Like those who go down into the pit. Praise the Lord. Amen. Those things will happen to you if you truly you have found it. It's a test. For every lecture, there is a test to show that what you are finding. But the key here, number five, is that don't say that wish that you have discovered. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 20. That's why we're going to round up this morning. Proverbs 23, verse 23. My son, buy the truth, buy the truth and, do not sell it. and sell it not. Also wisdom. Yes, and instruction. And, and instruction. And buy the truth. Do everything in your capacity to what? To discover it, but refuse to sell it. Do you know how people sell the truth? If you allow a condition to determine your response, you, you have sold the truth. Nobody makes you to do something. There is a seed of that thing in you that somebody help you. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your right hand, everybody. Lord, I receive the Spirit to study. Second Timothy 2 15. That's what we're going to round up. Second Timothy 2 15. It's a study to show yourself approved. Our husband man that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. You can never di di divide what you don't know, and you can never know until you study. So tonight, or this morning, I mean, everybody, wherever you are, I want you to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Spirit to read come upon me, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the Spirit to read come upon me. Pray that prayer in 30 seconds, everybody. Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive a fresh fire to read, to read, to read, to read, to read. Fresh fire to read. Fresh fire to read, to read, to read the Word of God. To search for the things, to get the good information, to research, and not to sell it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. If you are here this morning or you are somewhere online, I want you to know that you can never have understanding of whatsoever you are reading. Remember, in the, look for it, Acts chapter 8, verse 30. You know, the man told the, 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 you, you, the man that was reading, he said, Understand what you read. Amen. He said, do, do you understand what you are reading? 8.30, right? Yes, sir. Go. And he heard, and heard him reading the prophet of Isaiah yes. and said, What did he say? Do you understand? Do you understand? What you are reading? Amen. He said, How can I? How did he respond? How can I? Unto somebody what? How can I? Unto somebody what? Someone guides me. Guides me. Who guide? Remember, Holy Spirit is our guide, right? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And all the spirits can never come to, it doesn't come to everybody. It comes to those who have what? Re re receive Jesus. Because Jesus is, is one that sent the, the gift of God, which is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Whatever you are in the world right now, please, I want everybody to sit down. If you are here to receive Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, I want to give you the opportunity today. Or you have one done it, but because of the, of, of, of the devices of this world, because of the distraction, you have lost your connection. I want to give you opportunity this morning to receive that connection back. Lift your left hand up and put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me of all my sin. I've come to you today. Give me another chance. I know your son died for me. And on the third day, he rose up again that I might be justified. Right now, I acknowledge the blood that was shed in Calvary, on the cross of Calvary for my sake. I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. My, book, my name is written down in the book of life. And I begin to have access to the things of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Today, you receive the capacity to access the book. Mm -hmm. Even as you access the book, may every weeping in your life cease. Mm -hmm. And you begin to enjoy what is written there for you. And when you enjoy it, you shall see it. When you see it, you shall find it. When you find it, it shall begin to work for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And praise the Lord. If you are here this morning and you have any seed for God, lift it up. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, according to your word, you said we should not come to your house empty. And this is to support that which you are doing. As we give this, to mo this money, 
Let it come back to all. I call it to it in your world, no hundredfold in the mighty name of Jesus. Let this be used towards the goodness of your house. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's do so our seat. Praise the Lord. Please be reminded 4 p.m. today by the 